I was rewatching Alien the other day and I'm like, you know what? I actually haven't seen Aliens yet somehow. So I picked it up on Blu-ray. Oh my god! Uh, hey. <laughs> Awful. Aliens is a 1986 sci-fi action thriller written and directed by James Cameron. This movie is basically people going down to the planet from the original alien and going like, hmm, you know what we should do? We should colonize this planet and make it livable for our people back in the spaceship so we don't have to live in spaceships forever. And you already know where this is going. Someone completely fucks it up and gets everybody killed by aliens and Ripley and a bunch of stereotypical characters have to save the day with a lot of guns. A lot of guns. <laughs> a lot. A lot! This movie is basically alien, but instead of being on a ship with just one really dangerous alien, you've got a bigger ship with, like, thousands of aliens. And a lot of guns. And Bill Paxton. And mech suits. And a lot of guns. First of all, I just have to say that everybody is fairly good in this movie. The cast is actually pretty solid. Even like the small child actor that you'd expect to be terrible is decent. It's kind of weird that she went on to do nothing but alien documentaries afterwards, but hey, she was good in this. Sigourney Weaver is really good as Ripley. I mean, she kind of struggles in the dialogue-y parts in the first act, but I'm gonna blame that completely on the clunky dialogue. She's fantastic in the emotional and action scenes though, as she is in the first movie. I would almost argue that she's better, but it's a different type of good. Bill Paxton plays Private Hudson, a really, really douchey alien military guy that says man a lot. He plays the role pretty well. Uh, he has some really good lines in the movie, uh, one of which was actually improvised, which is like one of the most famous lines of the movie. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. That was completely improvised by Bill Paxton. Nice job. I also quote, they're coming out of the goddamn walls pretty much every day. At least every second day. I don't know how I get the opportunity to reference it that much, but I do. First thing I absolutely love about this movie is how well directed it is. I mean, it's not a surprise coming from James Cameron. I mean, he directed T2. You kind of, you kind of have to just, he gets a pass for everything that he has ever made that's bad for that one. I really enjoyed the shots from the Marine's helmet cam. It added another layer of suspense to the movie where it needed it. You know, it would be a nice wide shot of all of them and then boom, straight to the helmet cam and you're like, oh God, I'm scared now because I know that I am very vulnerable here. The environment of the movie is also really good. I liked that, especially when they were going into like the alien hive. I was like, oh God, get out of there now. I was trying to speak to them. I'm like, I do not want to be in here right now. It is a small corridor, like filled with like alien goo. Mmm, get out of there. The practical effects sets and overall costume design are fantastic. The aliens are just as terrifying as in the first movie. The face huggers have a really good opportunity in a couple of scenes to just scare the absolute crap out of you. And the queen alien, it blew my mind. Seriously, it's crazy. If you've never actually heard of the queen alien from this movie and the movies past it, don't look it up on Google Images. Just watch this movie. Seriously, in the final act, oh my god, it is like, whoa, <laughs> the effects are so good. I don't know how you would make something like that. Nowadays, it would just be made out of CGI, and while it still would take a while to make in a computer, it's really impressive that someone really made like this working machine that like spits out alien eggs from this thing that looks like a dick. <laughs> the character development scenes of Ripley are really good, and it's not that they're fantastic or extremely emotional, it's just that I really love Ripley as a character, I think we all do, and learning more about her is really good. That being said though, unfortunately they're only in the special edition cut, something that the Blu-ray actually offers, as well as the theatrical cut. Uh, the, the special edition cut is like two and a half hours long, but I still recommend it, and so does James Cameron. You can't argue with the guy who made T2. You, you just can't. This movie is really quotable and has so many unforgettable moments. I mean, Ripley in a big mech suit, going like, get away from her, you bitch. That's so badass. <laughs> that is so cool. It's also terrifying because I would run away from Ripley. 
at that point. I would run so far. I'd run until my legs, like, break away into stumps. And then I'd keep running until my legs fell off. And then I'd crawl. Because Ripley is that cool. I'll never be as cool as Ripley. None of us will. She's, she's just the best. That being said though, this movie isn't perfect. The dialogue in the first act can be kinda clunky and I think it honestly would have been a lot better if they just went over it one time more or even had a whole different draft of it. I don't know, the dialogue is really awkward, especially Ripley's dialogue. And it's only a couple scenes here and there. A lot of them in the middle are really good. The action scenes can also kinda be <laughs> seizure inducing. Like, seriously, there's full white screen flashes, muzzle flashes, everywhere, screaming, and then, like, the thing from the first Alien movie where it has the fan, you know, that cuts the light and it makes everything look stop motion, that's in pretty much every hallway. Watching this in a dark room, like a pitch black room with a really bright screen is not my recommendation. I don't know, that's probably just me though, because I don't really watch many action movies, so I'm not used to it. Overall, is this movie better than the original Alien? No. It's flawed. It's definitely flawed. But I found myself enjoying this movie more than I enjoyed Alien and The Martian. Two movies that I would honestly give solid 10 out of 10s and would rewatch at the drop of a hat. The action is really good. I liked how it was done. It's not just dumb action. It's Ripley getting revenge, it's her getting payback. Ripley is honestly really cool in this movie. I love her character because of how human she is, you know? She's relatable. She gets scared. She gets scared quite a lot. But at the end of the day, she's always brave enough to save the day. And that's usually with a lot of guns. A lot of guns in this one. I give Aliens a 9 out of 10, my buy it on Blu-ray seal of approval. Seriously, I, I really do recommend you see this. Pick it up on Blu-ray. It's got both the special cut and the theatrical cut. You can decide which one you like best. Eh, I'm just gonna say special edition because it has extra scenes and it has turrets in it. So it has to win. So I guess that's it. I'm, I, I don't know, I guess I'm more of an Aliens person. I mean, logically, I know that Alien is just the better movie, but I don't know, I, I, there's something about aliens that I really like. Seeing a lot of aliens getting blown away is awesome. Have any of you seen aliens? What did you think? Uh, do you have anything else you want me to review? Whatever it is, leave it down in the comments. I actually do read all of them. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and happy watching. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a review for Ant-Man coming. I've written it. I just need to clean it up quite a bit. It is a little bit messy. It's like two and a half pages long, which is probably a bit too long for a movie like that. It's good though. It's good is all I'm saying. <sighs> yeah. God damn, Jimmy. This is some serious gourmet shit. Bonnie goes shopping. She buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it.